coached well enough. But okay? you see what Jerry did? Who? Let me ask you, if you don't mind me asking, Skip, who shot for the groceries? Mm. So if the meal don't come out right, I bought him a quality grocery. I went to Whole Foods. I got him the best organic stuff that we money can buy. Jerry Jones got the talent. So Jerry Jones is advocate. It's not me. Mm. It's y'all guys. I gave you great talent. You saw what he did there, Skip? Over the last decade, what team has the second most pro bowlers to the Kansas City Chiefs? Yes. Yeah. Jerry Jones, Cowboys. Jerry Jones yes. team, and he shot for all those groceries, right? right. Okay, but you got to give him some credit. I give him credit, but Skip, what's happening is, is that every year we come out here, the Cowboys got this, the Cowboys got that, when we okay. haven't right. yet to see them put okay. that together. Help me out here. Yes. So last night, I came back to my senses, <laughs> and I started thinking about my defense. Yes. This is historically bad. It's off the charts yes. bad. It's incomprehensibly, yes. inexplicably wrong. <sighs> Alden Smith has been a revelation. Mm -hmm. He's still playing at a high level and on your bubble play. He did the best he could. He stayed where he, he stayed in a contained position. He's 280 pounds. You can't expect him to out quick uh, Odell if Odell goes backward. He went 20 yards deep. He bubbled it completely out. He bent it like Beckham, as the movie said. Yes. He bent it back 20 yards. Yes. Then it's up to everybody else yes. on the defense, especially your linebackers. To, to get home, right. to at least meet him at the line of scrimmage because that play should have lost five yards. Five, okay. 25. Okay, maybe, but, but at least I'm, I'm being conservative. Right. You, you should have met him with a cavalry, right? A, a, a cavalry at, at, at five yards behind the line of scrimmage. There should have been eight or ten guys there waiting right. for him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Alden Smith, who just a week ago made the Pro Football Focus weekly all-pro team. Mm -hmm. We have Demarcus Lawrence, again, Overpaid at 21 million, you can make a case. He has made Pro Bowls like Alden Smith has made Pro Bowls, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he just made the Pro Football Focus weekly All Pro yeah. team for the Giants game. Okay, then we have Everson Griffin, who they they stole right at the you know just before the season started. That they they acquired Everson Griffin. He made the Pro Bowl last year. Mm -hmm. Help me out. So that's three right there. Right. Ty Crawford is another starter in, inside that defensive line. He started 77 games for my Cowboys. And I, I got to tell you, he's been a pretty good player for them for a long time. Did you look at Ty okay. Crawford's stat line yeah, on Monday I, night? I, I got it. I got it. 20 plus plays, zeros across the okay. board. They also went out and got Dontari Poe, who is a former Pro Bowl player yes. and a run stopper. Yes. Okay, they're historically bad against the run. They're, right. they're barely second allowing rush yards right. to the Texans who are right. off the charts bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have Dontari Poe, and then you have two linebackers who have made the Pro Bowl, and now one is back, the Wolf Hunter. Yes. And Jalen Smith, just a week ago, made the Pro Football Focus weekly all-pro team. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I just gave you Pro Bowls everywhere in the front seven. And by the way, Sean Lee is due back this week. I don't know, on a short week where they got to fly to Washington. I don't know if he'll be able to play. But Awuzie, a starting corner, is due back this week. So they didn't have those two. But my point is, I just gave you too many reasons why you can't be allowing the most points since 1961 through the first six games. Coaching, disconnect, something is very wrong. It sounds like a mutiny to me. It sounds like they are quitting on the new D.C. who probably should not be the new D.C. If you don't mind me asking, Skip, you named the guy that went to the Pro Bowl, so let's just take D-Law. Since D-Law went to the Pro Bowl and got that money, you tell me how well he's played. Okay. Everson Griffin was on the market until the two days before they were reporting to camp. Okay, well, Minnesota, all I know is he did make the Pro Bowl last pro year. But, Skip... Why was he still Ooh. available? A guy that's, what, 31, 32, made the Pro Bowl? Why was he still available two days before everybody went to camp? Okay, all You believe he's a bad football player? Skip, I don't. I don't, Skip. But here's the thing, is that if you don't do your responsibility, I don't care how great you are, because if your responsibility okay. is to contain... Is it scheme? Is it disconnect with the coaches who can't teach the new scheme? Because it was... Trust me, it was night and day from the Marinelli Chris Richard scheme. Skip, in Rod's system, Rod Marinelli, Skip, they play the run on the way to the quarterback. They do. The worst thing you can have. And it mostly worked, except for a playoff game out here at the Coliseum two years ago. Go ahead. Skip, the worst thing you can have happen as a defensive player is to play bad football and make a good play. 
If you look at D-Law, he made a lot of plays, but he was abdicating his responsibility. Now it's coming back to bite him in the butt. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Christian Kirk first touchdown when they pitch mm -hmm. it, D-Law has contained. Can I get that, Skip? I want you to show. I want, I want to show this. Uh, pull this up for me. Pull this up for me. Because I want you to see. I want you to see this. Now, D-Law has contained, Skip. Why is he inside? He has contained. How do you know that? I, know. I, I think you can't know that. Seriously, I think you can't know that unless you interview those people and find yeah. out what the defense let, called. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. You how never I, know. You let never me tell you know. How I, know. I, I know this because I've been doing it for a long time. And if I wrote that back in the day, somebody could come to me and say, "You have no idea what defense got called there." Just for the record, Skip Bayless, are you mm -hmm. telling me my 14 years mm -hmm. of playing this game? I'm saying you never watching. know. You never know. I, I tell, know. I tell you what to do. I tell you what to do. If I'm lying, mm -hmm. if any cowboy player says Shannon Sharp, you don't know what the hell you mm -hmm. talk about. Write it. Okay, write it. You don't know. You can't know. know. You can't skip, know. Skip. What is You skip. just can't skip. know. You can't know. Skip. You're upset. You want Mike Nolan no. gone. I know what they're doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me you covered it. I was in the huddle. Okay. I was in the locker room. Yeah. I was in the meeting room. You weren't in they this. Are wrong. You, you were not in this huddle, and you I, weren't in this. I meeting. know that defense. You just, Shannon. You were not. I know that defense. You do not know that defense. You have no idea God. what got called. Oh my goodness, Skip. You but don't skip. know. I'm sorry. Skip. You don't know. Skip. No, I know you want Mike Nolan gone. No, well, that's but not the point wrong. Yes, it okay, is. Because what you're trying to do is place all the blame on him, and you're mm -hmm. advocating those guys' responsibilities. Skip. Okay. <sighs> they don't teach, says the quote to Jane Slater. Something didn't connect here. They're not getting. They're asking both Alden Smith and Demarcus Lawrence to stand up on the edge and edge rush from a standing position without their hand in the dirt. They're not used to it, and somehow it didn't go in their head right. They're not comfortable with it, and something is not working here. And I say... Chris Richard, I thought he was a head coaching candidate. He actually interviewed for the Giants job that Joe Judge got. Mm -hmm. He's still a sitting out there, I assume being paid by Jerry Jones. Uh, I would like to see him back in power here running the defense no, because no, no, I you, liked it better under Chris Richard. You said you liked it better, but you said they weren't doing the job. So they, they, there was a disconnect between Mike Nolan. There's a di disconnect between Chris Richard and, 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 and uh, Rod Marinelli. Mm -hmm. At what point in time is the players not at learning their job, Skip? When is that? I don't know. And then how about Ha Ha Clinton Dix? I was so excited about the signing of him. You realize they gave him more money than they gave Andy Dalton? They yes. gave him $4 million. Yes. And then before the season started, Mike Nolan, I assume, signed off on, nope, I don't love it. He's 27 years old. He has made a Pro Bowl before. Why isn't he in the starting lineup right now? I don't know. Yeah. Did I not beat my fist on the table for Earl Thomas? Did I not do that? Yeah. Where is Earl Thomas? I don't care what baggage he has. This baggage is way worse than all of his combined. Skip, you do realize how, this was the Cowboys was going to be Ha Ha Clinton Dick's 15. Mm -hmm. So, so Green he Bay played said no. for Mike McCarthy. Green Bay said no. I think Chicago said no. I think. Cleveland Are you saying said no. yes to our man Xavier Woods? He's no. a great kid. He's a great kid, and and he started a bunch of games now. He's got 39 starts as a Cowboy. He's just another guy. I'm sorry. They actually made a lineup change the other day. They, they actually elevated Donovan Wilson up into the starting lineup. And I liked him at Texas A&M, but he lasted until the sixth round because he can't run. But he made a lot of plays for Texas A&M, and he would flash on my TV. So they finally put him in the starting lineup. Is that going to change life at Washington? I don't know. But I still say the front seven is good enough. If Sean Lee comes back and Awuzie comes back are at they? corner, yep, are they they're good enough. Them? Yes, they are. And to be respectable enough to win the NFC East, yes. I want to show one more play. Can we get the long run by DeAndre Hopkins? This is the coach's fault. Because I won't skip Bennett because Skip says, Sasha, you don't know This, this is an effort play by Jalen Smith. <laughs> it's no, Jalen no, no, Smith. No, 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 Jalen Smith just. That's the coach. No. Nope. He just That's quit the on coach. play. <laughs> That's coaching. Okay, remember, when did that come in the game? Skip. They lost at home 38-10. to 10. The whole second half was a quit half. That explains okay. to why the Cowboys are in the position okay. they're Here, in. Here's the other problem. Guess how many snaps my defense has played with the lead this year? Help me out. 
does it matter in your psyche? Yeah, it matters in your psyche. They have played a total of 67 snaps with the lead. They have played 247 uh, snaps while trailing. Help me out. It's horrendously hard on you because the offense keeps coughing up the football at the highest rate in the league. They have 15 turnovers, mm -hmm. and your defense doesn't take the ball away. So they are running away with the turnover differential. And... It, you're short fielding Kyler Murray twice in the first half, thanks to my man Ezekiel Elliott, Skip. who coughed it up twice. Do you know how hard it is to play it, defense it, like it, that on sudden change, Skip. short field? Even if your offense coughs the ball up, there's not a prerequisite. You have mm -hmm. to let the team score. Mm -hmm. You're okay. It's okay. It's a lot but to it, keep them but out of the But if it keeps zone. happening and happening, I thought my defense actually played very well the first three possessions. Yeah, I, they were all over the field. Right. Kyler Murray was having a hard time. Yes. And then cough, and then cough, and short field touchdown, short field touchdown, and then Q-U-I-T quit. Yeah, and also, okay, they played only 67 snaps with the lead. Mm -hmm. But if the team gets the ball first and they go right down the field and score, hell, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Get behind. All right, now to Mike McCarthy. How did he make his name in this game? What was he known for pre-Green Bay? What was he known for? Play calling. Oh, yeah. Help me out. Does he call my play? No. He does not because, uh, wait a second. Kill. Oh, yeah, Kellen Moore. Oh, yeah, he's the holdover who Dak loved. Right. Okay, as much as I love Dak Prescott, with Kellen Moore calling his plays, in Dak's last 17 starts for this franchise, mm -hmm. he was 6 and 11. Right. Is that working? Again, uh, uh, Michael Lombardi, who writes for The Athletic, he criticized this, this whole scheme right now on offense because he said, Kellen Moore is calling it like it's a video game. You have splash plays, but you don't have a big picture chess game plan right. where you're trying to set up a play or you're trying to possess the football, right? Right, right. Okay, I do agree with that because Dak had a lot of...